Well, across our region, we're starting to see a few more clouds build in, and that is due to some changing, some changes in our systems that are dominating right now. We've had high pressure in our region over the last couple of days, but low pressure, but a low pressure system has brought a few clouds to our area, and you can definitely see those in several locations across our region. That high pressure is back towards the east into portions of North Carolina, but there's our low pressure system that is going to be working its way towards our area, and that is what is bringing us all of these clouds and also some pretty warm temperatures, especially compared to where we were this time 24 hours ago. A warmer afternoon is expected and cloud cover will be increasing as we go throughout the day. I'm not expecting any chances for rain today, but rain chances are really going to be increasing, especially as we go into the latter half of the work week. Temperatures right now are sitting into the mid to upper 40s across much of our region. We still have the mid 40s in two portions of Union City, but it's 47 degrees outside in Carbondale right now. So we're already two degrees above our average high for this time of year. And a lot of us are 15 degrees warmer than where we were 24 hours ago, 10 degrees warmer down into portions of Union City. But overall, it is a lot warmer and we are tracking those warmer temperatures due to stronger southerly winds right now gusting to about 14 miles per hour around Harrisburg. 12 miles per hour around Carbondale and 12 miles per hour further towards the west into portions of Poplar Bluff. By noontime, we should be at about 48 degrees and then through the three or four o'clock hour, I think we are going to hit 50 degrees. And again, you're going to notice that clouds are going to be increasing as we go throughout the afternoon. And by six or seven o'clock tonight, we should be back into the lower 40s. The cloud cover will be lingering through the overnight hours and through the morning tomorrow. We could see a few stray showers off towards the north, but overall, I'm not expecting any sort of a washout tomorrow morning. Morning. By 12 o'clock, those clouds are still going to be lingering, and we could see a few more stray showers start to work their way into our region from the west tomorrow afternoon. Temperature wise, I'm expecting us to wake up into the upper 30s, so a little bit warmer than where we were 24 hours ago. And by this time tomorrow, we should already be getting into the 50s, and then we'll be into the upper 50s to near 60 for some of us for tomorrow afternoon's highs. And temperatures by 9 p.m. should be right back into the low to mid 40s across much of our region. And the, again, these warmer temperatures are really going to be associated with these southerly winds that tomorrow are going to be gusting between 10 and 15 miles per hour. But check out how warm things are going to get as we get into Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I'm expecting us to be pretty close to 60 degrees on Christmas Eve and we'll be pretty close to there on Christmas Day with a high of about 58 degrees and that is about 15 degrees above our average high of 43 degrees for this time of year. So keep that Storm Track 3 app handy because we also are tracking a few chances of rain, especially as we get into the latter half of this week on Friday. We could see a few isolated showers. Saturday we could see a few isolated showers as well, but I think the best chance of rain is going to be into the afternoon hours on Friday. And we're going to again see temperatures on Thursday today get up into the mid 50 or to, tomorrow we're going to see temperatures get into the mid to upper 50s. Friday, I think we're going to see a high of about 53 to 54 degrees. And by the time we make it to Saturday and Sunday, we're going to be into the upper 50s to near 60. So not too bad for this time of year. No, I know a lot of people were probably dreaming of a white Christmas, but I guess they'll just have to wait until possibly uh, next year. Yes, <laughs> it looks this like is, rain. <laughs> yes, a, a rainy Christmas this All right, year. Sounds good. Thanks for the update.